Welcome back guys. So today we got a video of a custom exhaust that I'm gonna be doing for my Ranger. It's something, I got an idea off of TikTok. A guy had actually originally used guttering for this, but I wanted to be a little bit different. And while I was walking around Lowe's, I saw this. So I figured, why not? Let's put it on the truck. The truck sounds ricey anyways. This couldn't sound any better. This couldn't have sounded any worse. And I was actually very surprised. So comment down below what you guys think. If this is going to sound decent, if it's going to sound worse, let me know what you guys think. But I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to jump right into it and I'll see you guys at Lowe's. A dual dumped exhaust would be pretty sweet. But, and then that's going to attach to here. And that should dump real nice at the exhaust. And the, and the crazy thing about this is, I don't know why people are going out and buying exhaust. Look at that, $11, $12. Like I said, I might just need a little piece just so that when we run it, we can add a little chunk to make sure it for sure dumps down at the exhaust. Worried if I don't, it's, you're not really gonna be able to see it. But then again, my Ranger's not really. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, that would be kind of sweet. But we can always come back. If this works, we can just always come back, put different types of tips on them, and kind of go from there. Because, like I said, I really like that the dual one that came out like that. That was pretty neat. But I think this setup right here will definitely work. I think that setup right there is only gonna run. I think this is like 10 bucks. That's like, I mean, okay, let's, that's about $30 altogether, let's say, which really isn't even that bad. So what else, what else, what else? Let me look around one second. Even this, look at this, they got little exhaust tips, bigger. Here you start getting a Cummins size, almost. I'd say, that, yeah, Cummins size is about right there. Yeah. So I said we start getting more into this a little bit further once we get in, but I think this will be a perfect exhaust tip, a good dump. And this thing you like, you can adjust. It's got a little swivel, it'll swivel around. So that will adjust that. I should be able to just twist it tight enough that I can actually wrap it around my axle, or not my axle, my exhaust. Cause I think my exhaust is only two and a half or three inches. So that thing is gonna be very small. So you guys are looking for exhaust. Lowe's definitely is not the move. They, they only got, eight to 10 inch pipe. Psst. Poor excuse for a freaking exhaust shop if you tell me. Um, ooh, look at this. Sick custom exhaust tips. Man, looks like the ones AOW makes almost. For only $4. Ooh. Honestly, the customer service here would not recommend no one was asking me what type of truck I was gonna try and run it on, if I was gonna dump it, what size tip I was looking for. Sheesh. Anything looks better than that. It's sagging down. So, yeah, I'd say that's gonna be plenty because we'll take that apart right there Yes. If you haven't noticed, I got wire holding it up. Anyways, so that custom bracket that I have made, I'm gonna take it apart right there. It's gonna chop down right there at the rear axle. And then we'll have a dumped exhaust for 28 bucks. 28 bucks, let's see. 28 dollars and you'll have a dumped exhaust. That's a horrible angle, whatever. But let's get home get in the shop and throw this custom exhaust on real quick. It's probably helpful to unlock the car. So we'll go home, get the exhaust started up. While we have it up, I might go ahead and throw on those rock lights I got a while back. I think those things will be crazy bright. Get them away, Ford Ranger. Ford Ranger. 
Anyway, so go home. We might go ahead and put those custom rock lights that I have from FCK light bars on there. And uh, since we already have it up on the lift, I don't know how hard or easy it'll be since uh, they're like really weird. They're super bulky. Like it's almost like they're not made for the truck or something. Super weird. Uh, it might just be something that came out wrong from factory, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I got them for a hell of a deal. I only paid like 600 bucks for four of them. So they're stupid cheap right off the bat. And they're supposed to be brightest on the market, uh, FCK. Uh, brightest on the market everything definitely uh, not Chinese or super cheap uh, the warranty on them is amazing uh, if you break it they'll send you the wrong part three different times and on top of that I think my most favorite thing about that company is that uh, they tell you it's under warranty but they want you to send the part in to have their specialist look at it um, and then they just tell you that it's your fault that water got inside of them I think that was my favorite part uh, I spent a few hundred dollars on some and the exact same ones on Amazon. We'll get into that later, but all I gotta say is just FCK is an amazing company, guys. If you guys aren't with FCK light bars, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, on a, on a different note, while I was driving home, an idea came to me. This is four inch, so it will probably actually just mount right up to my Super D. It's a four inch turbo back exhaust. So let's see if it fits real quick. Oh, this. Shit. Jeez. All right, step back and take a look at our work. Tell you what, they looks damn good. Ugh. So now I can just go to Walmart. I mean, Lowe's and buy an exhaust tip any time. Let's start her up. Like a glue. Oh, yeah. So we got the Ranger jacked up right now. I'm trying to get this thing out, but it's super seized in there, so I got some PB blaster and I'm hoping I can get it off because with all that mud and everything flinging in there, it caused it to have like some surface rust. So it's just like welded in there with rust and I can shimmy it a little bit, but it just won't come out. So this thing would not come off. I beat the hell out of this thing, trying to get it to slide off, but it's so rusted in there and it will not come out. I beat all over on the inside of the outside tried smacking it i was going easy on it hitting around here and i said screw it smash it in i don't really care it was a crappy exhaust in the junk pile anyway so i'm gonna go ahead cut it right there and then we'll have our exhaust piece okay now this so that might have been the issue. Smack on it a little too much, I guess. Bent the exhaust uh, fittings, and that's why it wouldn't come out. But oh well, we got the new ones sitting over there, so we're gonna go ahead and start fabbing this baby up. So the idea on this is just to like burrito it. So just grab it and then get as close or as tight as I can together so I can actually wrap it around this and I'm not really sure I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna try and get it hooked on this side real quick all right so I was able to get the exhaust bracket on there singed it down super sturdy and this is a custom pipe that goes from two and a half inch and opens up to a four inch exhaust dumped out at a 10 inch tip and this bungee cord I put on there is actually just to kind of burrito it in, hold it. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet to kind of get this exhaust to hold up a little bit better because I want to make sure that this exhaust has no leaks in it so it sounds the best that it possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to figure out if I just need to, I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to do this yet. Anyways, I'm just going to figure out something so that it holds 
a little bit better so there's not so much showing. So I figured it out. I was gonna wrap wire around it, but I'm like, George, this isn't you. You go all out, you make it look clean. You want it to look really good, you know? Cause you got a show in a month. So you gotta show everyone what you can do. So I found these self-tapping little bits or screws. And so all I had to do was just line it up and look how good that looks. And it's like it's meant to be. It's got this little slot right here so you can just set it right in there and push those in, drive them right through. And like I said, that's perfect because this has slowly got to go from a two and a half, open all the way back up to a four. So that's going to work perfectly. I'm going to take this bungee cord off, let it open up so it can fit in here. And hell, I just got to grab a few more of these babies and put them right through. Hey, look at that chrome. I can't whistle. <laughs> we got it straight piped right here. The issue we're having is it went a little too high up and it was slapping over here. So now we got it right there. And we're gonna be able to dump it right out the axle. So let's put the tip on. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Uh, I think like 60 degrees. So it actually does not sound that bad. I don't know how it's gonna sound on video. But I'm being actually a little bit serious. Like it doesn't sound like a V8, it doesn't sound amazing. But I was actually really surprised when I revved it and it didn't sound horrible. Still ricey, still very ricey. But it wasn't the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. Whenever I just had the entire exhaust cut off and there was not even a, like a muffler on it, it sounded like a bumblebee. It was horrible, just, just super, super ricey. I, I, I drove on the road and it was just horrible, but I'm about to drop some of this stuff off and we're gonna take it on the road and see what it sounds like. But just revving it up and sitting in the passenger or in the driver's side, I was actually really surprised. speed I'm gonna get up to about 70 75 and see how bad the drone noise is like nothing. I freaking love this little truck. All right, so here is the startup. And now here is revving it up so you guys can hear what it sounds like from the outside. So there you have it guys. That is our Lowe's homemade $28 straight pipe exhaust going from a two and a half inch to a four inch dumped down to an eight inch tip. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, like I said, if you guys have ideas you want me to throw at the Ranger, uh, some things that you want me to try out, something you think was funny or even actually maybe seriously just want to try it out or just know, Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to hear, and thanks for watching.